Snow Days and Paint Jobs had a great question from the last video. Current packs to look for now. We were focusing on chase cards. Now I had a question about what packs to pick up now. Um, we're just going to jump straight into this. And if you guys want to have your question featured in a future video, just leave a comment down below and I'll, I will usually always get back to everything. So first up, starting off, uh, we're going to start off with Evolving Skies, except these are a sleeved... Uh, hanger packs and the reason that I would recommend picking these up is a few things is because while these are currently you know the most expensive sword and shield pack at like $17 a pack they they do hold their value really well and they will continue to follow the booster box price for the most part obviously like booster boxes sealed will hold the premium but these are cool for people who are wanting to pick up some packs you know at a more affordable price and they don't have to worry about them coming out of a booster box or coming out of a different product uh less likely to be resealed sort of thing it is still possible obviously but um i like these <clears throat> excuse me also because they're great for displaying you can get all the different artworks on them so and i don't think at this price point long term you can go wrong with picking up any evolving skies um hanger packs and that's just my opinion but i think long term that you know you're gonna see these continue to go and we're, we're starting off with sword and shield but we're gonna work uh into scarlet and violet and then obviously we have the uh fusion strike same kind of same story right but just at this price point i don't think you can go wrong in the five dollar range you know you're gonna be really thanking yourself once you if you pick these up once they're like around 10 bucks eventually right so just keep that in mind uh the next up we have lost origin which is on the similar trajectory i wouldn't mind picking up the i have um a few i have some of these but i have more of the lo currently i don't have the um you can get these in a sealed case which we're going to talk about later which is the way to go but that's a lot more money to invest so if you just want to pick up a few packs of each I think that these are good investments and they look cool. And this is seeing a little tiny bit of a downturn, kind of following the booster box price. So I'm not too worried about that there, but these are some of the best sets from, from the era. So that's kind of why I have them on the list. And then if you want to get ahead, a little bit of one is Brilliant Stars. It's not in that $5 range yet. So you're, you're really not paying a premium for these at all. But, you know, so once again, kind of a no brainer, you know, pick up pick up these these sleeved uh, boosters um, and this is TCG player you might be able to find these in other places um, TikTok shop often has these for deals so just keep that in mind <clears throat> now this listing it's hard to tell it's not a very good photo but it's from a very reputable seller <clears throat> this is exactly what I was talking about about the sealed you can see them down here um, oh this is elite trainer box this one so this is a sealed case of 144 sleeved booster packs. And this is Paldea. Um, now, with Paldea, I would be a little more weary because we're probably looking at a reprint scenario. So this might be a set I would be probably waiting on. But if you were looking for something to pick up that's a little higher dollar-wise and more pack quantity. And obviously, we are avoiding... Um, booster boxes because the question said packs so we're avoiding that obviously I would always lean towards boxes as being the best investment there um, so yeah we're gonna just skip past this just 489 you know I'd wait personally but if you want to get in on Paldea you won't if you're gonna hold long term you can't go wrong even at that price but we'll see what happens with the reprint and then same thing if you guys want to, I, I think even if there's a reprint, if you've picked up these in the $3 range, you know, you're not going to be, you're not going to be hurting too bad no matter what happens. So, um, if you want to pick up some of the, the sleeved of just the singles, it might be a little safer. Maybe don't get quite so many. Um, then we also have, here's a, a much cheaper version of a set that I think is really undervalued still. And it has a huge IR, SIR, um, set and i think paradox is a, is a really good undervalued set um you can see we had a little rebound here but you know sub sub three dollars per 
per uh, booster there. Once again, these are just, you know, if you wanted to go through and just kind of pick up a few of all of them, I think that's kind of a cool thing to do as well. Then, uh, keeping on the Paradox Rift, um, we have, now this is what the, the case looks like. This is the 144 pack case. Now this price is much more enticing, and I don't think you can go wrong with that. So, we'll just do the math real quick. We'll 358 divided by 144. So that comes to $2.48 per pack, which if you go down here is less than what the market value is. So this is a really good buy currently um, if you want to be picking these up. And these cases often hold a, a premium, so keep that in mind. Um, that's a, just a, you know something that I would be considered picking up at, at that $358 range. Now something that I don't think you guys should be picking up and I just kind of wanted to touch on it. These booster bundles should not be this high yet, uh, currently, and we're most likely going to see a reprint, and you can see how this is taken off. Um, if we bring this chart back out, you know, when these first, these should be, like, I think they're 28, 28 to 30 is MSRP, you know, and we're at 41, so it's not the worst. Obviously, we saw them up to around 48, but, um, and we don't know if there's a reprint, which products will get reprinted. So keep that in mind, but I just wanted to say that personally, I'm avoiding this kind of like Paldea. I'll wait for the reprint and then I'll jump on. Um, that's just my opinion. I, with them reprinting Japanese, there's no way they're not gonna reprint English. Um, but yeah, that's that's another um, good way to get some packs. That's not a, a whole uh, booster box. It's kind of just a little mini one. Speaking of booster bundles, now, if I was going to pick up um, a bunch of something, it would probably be this. Now, this is interesting because you can't find these everywhere. I think, I'm not sure if they're uh, Walmart exclusive or not, but 28, 29 bucks, and this is a booster bundle for Crown Zenith, which I think is going to go down as one of the greatest sets ever, and these are too cheap right now. Um, I would be picking these up, you know left and right um, over probably over most everything if I'm being completely honest but you know I think you might be able to find these other places but this is currently this is a, the pack price ends up being about um, MSRP or a uh, market price currently if you buy individual packs on TCG player and I just think that this set is too good and this is a way Besides, if you don't want to get ETBs, um, where you can get uh, boosters in a sealed product for a premium for a premium price down the road, so that is um, this would be my go-to, my main pickup currently of all of these. This is kind of where I'd be leaning. But that is just my opinion, and um, that's all I w wanted to share with you guys. Just kind of wanted to touch on that question. Um, appreciate you guys all for stopping by. Um, if you have any other questions or you want me to touch on anything else in a video, let me know um, down in the comments. I usually get back to pretty much everybody and i um, happy to address them and make them into a video if possible. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Um, oh, also, if you guys are interested, the Discord server, the link is down below. And yeah, remember, it was never a phase.